Hi buddies, welcome back to our color videos channel. Let's begin with the video. In today's video, we will learn about most extensively used function in Excel that is VLOOKUP. So what is VLOOKUP? VLOOKUP performs vertical lookup by searching for any value with the help of a reference. I have a set of data over here. Let's see how to do VLOOKUP using these data. Suppose if I have to search Ajit's marks in chemistry manually, how do we do that? I go to student name column, then start searching for Ajit's name from the top in a vertical way. I found that Ajit's name is in the seventh row. Then I go to chemistry column. Now I got to know that he has scored 88 in chemistry. We can do this manual method only if the table is very small. If the table is very large, that is when we have to use VLOOKUP function. Let's see how to fetch Ajit's marks in chemistry using VLOOKUP. I'm going to delete it. Equal to VLOOKUP tab. So we need these values to get Ajit's marks in chemistry. We'll see what are these one by one. Lookup value is the reference from which we get the value. In our example, that is Ajit. Then what is table array? The table from which we get the value, from which we extract the value. Column index from which we get the number, that is chemistry marks. Chemistry marks is in the column number 4. That is our column index number. Range lookup. Here we can enter 0 or 1. 0 is the exact match and 1 is the approximate match. We need the exact number so we are going to enter 0. Now select the lookup value that is Ajit in our example. Then the table array, the table from which we extract the chemistry marks. I have selected the table. Comma, column index number is 1, 2, 3 and 4. We know that chemistry marks is in the column number 4, comma, we need exact match. So 0, close the bracket. We got our answer that is 88. Ajit has scored 88 marks in chemistry. Now the question is fetch Ajit's marks in all the subjects. We have got Ajit marks in chemistry. We want his marks in Maths, Physics, Biology using VLOOKUP. So we don't have to go ahead and do the VLOOKUP formula again. I mean we can do that but I'm just telling an easy way to do this. I What I'm going to do is I'm going to the chemistry marks where we have done the VLOOKUP formula. Copy the formula. Control C. Escape. Don't forget to hit Escape. Then just paste the formula. Control V, Control V. Now I know that max marks is in the column number 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Max is in column number 2, physics in column number 3, chemistry in column number 4, biology in column number 5. So what I do is I just change the column number over here. For max I know it is 2. I am changing it to 2. And I got the answer as 93. Same way, physics, I know that it is in column number 3. So I got my answer as 84. Biology, column number 5. We can check our answers. 93, 84 and 78. Okay, now let's see how to drag a VLOOKUP formula. I have few names over here. I want marks of these guys only out of these many. So we don't have to enter the formula for each and every person again. I will just enter the formula once and I'll show you how to drag the formula. Equal to VLOOKUP and select the lookup value that is the reference and the table from which we need these values. Comma. So we know that max is in column number 2, comma, 0, close the bracket and copy the formula, not the number, escape, don't forget to enter escape, 
then just paste the formula everywhere now physics change it to column number three we know that physics marks is in column number three chemistry to column number four biology to column number five so we know that we got a bias marks 59 67 85 and 76 let's go so we need for Sudeep Surya Yash as well we'll go to the end select all the empty cells drag it I mean control shift up arrow then control D when you do control D the formula gets dragged to all these guys and the value automatically gets auto populated we can check Yesha has got 57, 77, 91 and 77. Where is Yesha? 57, 77, 91 and 77. So that is how we drag or we look up formula in Excel. Okay, now let's see how to fetch marks of all the students from different sheets. So I'm going to delete these marks. And I have the marks, maths marks is on the sheet, physics, chemistry, biology. So let's see how to get uh, these marks in a one single sheet using VLOOKUP. So I'm going to enter VLOOKUP, tab, select the reference, comma. I need max marks over here, so I'm going to the sheet, select the table. And I know that it marks is in the column number 2, 2 comma, true match, 0. So we cannot uh, copy the formula and paste it over here. As all the marks are in different sheet, we need to change the sheet name also. So it's better to do the formula again. We look up. Reference. Select the table column number similarly for chemistry select the table column number similarly for biology table so we got a bias marks in all the subjects we don't have to do that for the, these guys we will use the drag function over here so let's go to the bottom select all the empty cells control shift up arrow and control D the values gets automatically auto populated so this is how we fetch marks for all the students from different sheets now let's see how to remove these formulas you can see when I go here I can see the formula over here but here I can't see any formula if I paste any formula value if I paste it anywhere then it comes as any because there is some formula behind it so we need to remove the formula how do we do that just select all control A control C copy it control alt V that is special paste this is called as special paste now select values only so the formulas will be removed and only values will be pasted we can see the formulas are removed you can check it over here only the numbers are displaying that is how we remove the formula that's it for this video friends thank you for watching please like this video if you find the video informative share it with your friends and subscribe to our channel and don't forget to hit on the bell icon bye take care